that from the time of Sayyidina Adam salam, to Qiyamah, there isn't a bigger fitna, a tribulation, a test than that of the Dajjal. Every single Prophet, the Prophet والسلام, said that foretold them and prophesied the coming of the Dajjal. One of the ways we are deceived is that we are distracted from the uh, purpose of our creation, which is the remembrance, uh, the recognition, and worship of Allah Almighty. And the Prophet said, This is one of the signs of the last hour that you will find mosques widespread, absolute outstanding mosques, but the people within that mosque, their hearts will be corrupted. Just because someone is born a Muslim or he lives in a community full of Muslims, it doesn't mean he is immune to um, tribulations. It doesn't mean the temptations of shaitan, the temptations of this world um, don't affect him. They affect everyone, whether he is Muslim or not. Soon as a person and a society loses the element of haya, he will do whatever and whenever he wants. And you think to yourself, like, you know, what did the Prophet ﷺ do for us? He spent his entire life for our betterment. People have the ability to save themselves from the fire. It's not that we're destined for the fire. Otherwise, the Lord might have not command us to do something. He said, oh believers, save yourself. That's a command. So we are commanded because we are able to do so. He has given that ability to us to save ourselves and our families um, from the fire.